I'm a professionally trained savory chef, but I do love making a good creme brulee. Here's how you do it. You take two cups of cream, pinch of salt, vanilla, bring that up to a simmer and let that steep in there for five minutes. Then we're gonna take five egg yolks, a half cup of sugar and whisk until smooth like this. Very slowly add the hot cream a little bit at a time. If you add it too much at once, it will scramble. Add to ramekins and put that in a dish with boiling water halfway up. Bake at 325 for 40 minutes until it wiggles like this. The edges shouldn't wiggle, just the middle. Set overnight and then top with some sugar and either blowtorch it to caramelize or place under a broiler for about a minute or two. Honestly, I'm pretty bad at making desserts, but creme brulee is my go-to. Follow for more cooking how-tos. easy it is to make a homemade marinara? You can do this. We'll make it a sauce. One diced onion, five cloves minced garlic. Heat a 12 inch skillet over medium low heat. Add a quarter cup olive oil. Salt, pepper. Saute until tender two to four minutes. Add your garlic saute 30 seconds. Deglaze half a cup white wine. Reduce by half, medium heat two minutes. Strain two 28 ounce can San Marzano's. Save for another use. Crush with clean hands. Don't be a sissy. Rinse can, quarter of the way. Add tomatoes. Add the water from the can. One and a half teaspoon dry basil. One and a half teaspoon dry parsley. Salt vigorously. Pepper. Bring to a bubble. Then reduce to a simmer, 25 minutes. Don't let the sauce stick. Keep stirring. Puree in a blender. Let's make crispy and juicy pork belly. Butter with ginger and green onions for 20 minutes. Use a fork to poke 88 holes. Make some cuts on the meat side. Do not cut through the skin. Make a simple marinade sauce with Danos seasoning, which is always fantastic. Mix with sugar, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Massage over the pork belly. Marinate from 2 hours to overnight. Then wipe off the seasoning. Wrap with foil paper. Brush with white vinegar and cover with kosher salt. Bake for 30 minutes. Remove the salt and brush with white vinegar for one more time. Bake on a rack for 20 more minutes. block and you're just gonna cut it right on to oh, wow. the top. Look at that. That looks really nice. Okay, great. Look at the way it all fits that Yeah, way. it's beautiful, right? Then you take milk, shake it. Okay, you want to make sure you cover the pasta because that's how the pasta is gonna cook. Oh yeah. Pop that right in the oven. It's, it looks really good. What did the cheese do? The did cheese it... melted all over it, the pasta, okay? Uh -huh. The pasta's nice and soft. The hot dogs are perfectly cooked inside. Wow, look, look at, at this. Okay, and perfectly. Slice it down the middle, slice it down the middle. I'm gonna slice nice. it right down the middle here. Look. Wow, mm. yum. Mm -hmm. mm. What my Japanese mom made me for dinner. We grow green onions. This is Okonomiyaki.
Smells so good. That crunch is so good, babe. 